Hello everyone, it's Rad. Welcome to Rad Gutaro channel and uh, <clears throat> this video is going to contain a, a general tarot reading and for that reason, as general tarot reading, the reading itself is going to relate to different subjects and situations and is going to manifest itself in a different way with every single different person. Now, in case uh, you are interested to know about specifically about your personal situation, uh, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed here in the display, or it is as well shown in the description of the video. And there you are going to find, visiting it, you are going to find on the very front page, full list of my services, as well as their pricing, starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and uh, $15 for the private call readings. Apart from that, if you want to see me live or, you know, you want to contribute with an event on me, you can check out my Facebook page, which as well you can see here on the video or in the description down below and consider sharing and subscribing the video because this is a one-man operation and it, you, your, your support does uh, helps a lot. That being said, uh, I want you now to lay back comfortably and enjoy the show. Okay. So uh, this is going to be Pisces Sun, Pisces Moon and uh, Pisces Rising weekly tarot reading June 3rd to uh, June 9th, 2019. And uh, bear with me a second guys to shuffle the tarot cards. Oops. One second. And uh, we can go straight away uh, into the spread. I'm sorry guys, it's just someone texted me on my uh, on my Skype. Anyway, so um, that being said, the first card which uh, marks the topic for Pisces week, that is to be uh, the Queen of Swords, followed by the second one which stands for the uh, negative aspect of the week, or rather like the, the, um, the challenges here, that will be the Justice card. Afterwards, we do have the positive aspect of the week, or... Um, yeah, what is going to be the good thing happening there? Uh, this is going to be the Seven of Swords. And the last one, which stands for the Guidance, this will be the Four of Pentacles. So once again, uh, we do have the Queen of Swords, which, st which stands for the topic of the week, followed by the Justice card that stands for the um, challenges. Seven of Swords, it's the positive aspect, and lastly, Four of Pentacles, that will be the guidance. So first of all, we do have quite a lot of swords here. So the week is going to be rather, uh, how can I describe it? Warmongry, right? Um, well, basically what these cards are pointing is that uh, you are gonna cut the crap. And uh, you are to tell those what you wanna tell straight into their face, disregarding how they're gonna feel simply because they deserve it. That is um, the most, um, how can I describe, the most the most influenced, uh, inf influential activity that you are going to do throughout the week. And uh, with doing so as well, you know, it seems that you're gonna earn a lot of respect in the very least, you know, people will start uh, treating you the way they are supposed to, supposed, uh, supposed to or um, they are going to repay you back the way they are supposed to so uh, but that does not go without this support that you're gonna have here Queen of Swords so this is a, a very uh, innovative and emancipating person someone who is uh, well respected with a lot of experience behind her back I'm saying her because it's a queen but it could be as well as well a, ma a man so what happens here is, is that this person sees what position you're in and they feel grudge, okay? They feel grudge because they see how unfair position you are finding yourself at. And so what happens here is that, uh, and that, that happens because uh, they have been in the similar situation back in the days, all right? Just they, they were where you stand right now. But unlike you, they don't have the Queen of Swords to help them, but you do. So what happens here is, is that the Queen is going to approach you, which is the person, and is going to push you, literally push you, 
to do what it is needed in order to uh, find yourself into more advantageous situation in regards to your career or in regards to your relationship. For example, your wife is uh, really pushing your buttons, uh, it's really mis mistreating you any way she can. And the Queen of Swords approaches you and tells you how you can allow that. You know, I mean, you do contribute for the family just as much as she does as well. So how can you allow that? Why don't you do this, this and this? You know, she, basically what, what the Queen is going to do is going to give you the way or rather tell you the way how you can traverse uh, your situation into a more uh, into a more positive one or rather traverse the negative into the positive one because it's a very capable uh, person that we do have here who is capable to push the things through and definitely is going to push your things through through a, um, a very sound advice that is going to give you and the support as well now if you do have however medical issues the queen of swords it does point that a resolution or rather like a accurate diagnosis to those medical issues is going to be found. This is one of the, the, the few cards in tarot that could refer to health, although you who, uh, you who kind of take took advantage of my services know that I don't like to speak for health, but as a general reading, I'm feeling obliged to do so. Uh, the accompanied card here that is to be the death card, the formation it is a active neutrals that we do have. And uh, with active neutral, the death to the Queen of Swords, we are talking about here that you are basically giving up on tremendous position of authority or it's like you are waving up the white flag when you can win the battle, either into your marriage, into your relationship, life, you know, or into your career. Uh, the only thing that you do lack is awareness and courage and... Uh, the queen is going to give it to you. So it's very important to follow the example and the advice of this person that steps in. And uh, like I said, a person of authority, someone who is well respected, and it is very emancipating. Those who doesn't know what emancipating means, it does mean in tune with the future. So everything new that comes around, that queen it is very good at it. It kind of takes it as a uh, as a new uh, as the right as the established way to do things. You know, it's not it, it doesn't clinch to outdated habits, to outdated positions. You know, or to outdated beliefs as well. So the next card is the challenge itself, and that will be the um, the justice. So the justice here tells us a couple of things as a challenge. First of all. Yes, the guidance is going to come around, all right? Yes, the example is going to come around and the awareness is going to come around, but that will ask you or you are to realize that you have to basically restructure your priorities. You need to completely change your routine, either career-wise and either relationship-wise or friendship-wise as well. And this is going to be the challenge, you know, the new way of how you have to structure your routine. Additionally to that, uh, because uh, for what it seems you are a good soul, it will be also challenging to be accountable toward oneself and then toward the others. So yeah, that will be the real challenge here, to think first for yourself and for your own happiness and for your own productivity, that is, and then to think for the other people productivity. The way I see it, this reading is gonna have the most influence upon those who are uh, leaving their own responsibility to help someone else, you know? I mean, your marriage may be on the rock and not really working out, but, but you are more, um, prone to help your girlfriend, for example, to fix their relationship, rather you to fix yours. And your girlfriend doesn't have any problems to take advantage of it. And she's calling you all the day, you know, and that con that continuously p uh, proceed to piss up your husband, all right? For you not paying attention to him while you prefer to pay attention to your girlfriend. And the advice comes. Which makes me think that Queen of Swords could be as well some sort of a therapeutic help, like psych, uh, like a uh, uh, a couples therapist, you know, shrink um, advisor, and so on and so forth. The accompanied card of the um, Justice that is to be the King of uh, of King of Wands. 
eye formation is a active friends and we definitely talking about the months here with the queen of uh, wands coming around i mean you have to slam the table all right with your fist on the table and you say these are my demands these are my um my rules if you want to follow them that's all right that's great we are going to get to work with each other if you don't well you know where the door is it's um, and that will be the challenge for you to do it will be challenging for you to do but you gotta do it this is because we go to the next card Pisces which is the positive aspect and that is the seven of swords so that is conditional card here as a follow-up what the seven of swords tells us is that if you have the courage and the strength to step for your own rights for your personal rights to show strong backbone to show strong strong spine then what happens is that you are going to simply storm your situations, all right? Either your career or either your marriage is going uh, to be like a hurricane coming in into those fields. A hurricane that wreak havoc, all right, upon havoc that you are to control. Havoc that will allow you to restructure those fields, career relationships, you know, friendships and so on, the way you want them to, the way that it will be most beneficial for you. With this one, uh, simply should you do it right, there is no doubt whatsoever that you're gonna get what you deserve, uh, that you think you deserve that is, as a appreciation, you know, as a treatment as well, as a respect, as a material gains also. The accompanied card here that is to be the Five of Cups, the formation it is a active neutrals that we have and we still have that shred of um poignant emotional states that you may be in by doing these things i mean uh by uh by standing for yourself i mean you you're not gonna like the, the the process itself because you have to be more rather more aggressive and maybe you are used to be uh, a milder person person who doesn't see conflicts person who doesn't see confrontations but uh, it's unfortunately that you have to do it this time around the other way around you know the way that the queen of swords shows you because with the queen of swords uh i with this follow-up guys uh the rule is is that something does not belong to the one by right but belongs to the ones who takes it you want your husband or your wife to um to appreciate you or to respect you well you have to take it right you have to take it you want this promotion well you have to take it it's simply sitting on one place is not gonna grant it to you all right you want these money you gotta take them as well it's it's what you need to do and in order for you to do so you have to be in a one more in a warmonger state uh, unfortunately and the last card that we do have for you Pisces that is to be the guidance that we do have and we have the four of pentacles so four of pentacles points that this uh, week as a guidance you need to focus on those activities or enterprises which are to which are to allow you to establish a secure and foreseeable future like focus on your career all right establish a solid position in there by showing how no warm hunger, but uh, how aggressive you are and how demanding you are to present yourself as a leader if i may express myself that way so yeah that that is the thing as a follow-up you have to present yourself there as a leader as someone who knows their place as someone who knows uh, how much they worth that is because like i said you have been mistreated so probably your worth have been diminished by the opinion of others and you need to step for yourself and by stepping for yourself as well, uh, the, as a guidance card, the Four of Pentacles points is that you will start establishing more defensive zones in regards to your um, domain and your estate. You will be able to secure even further your marriage to establish, a, like I said, defensive zones in there. Uh, and you will be able to establish such zones as well in regards to your career. The way I see the things here with the Four of Pentacles, guys, is that as the process ends, as this process of aggression from your behalf ends, um, it's not even an aggression. It is more like a uh, fighting for for what you believe in all right and fighting for what you what you are after after this process takes place a, a huge milestone is to be created a, a milestone that it is very unlikely that someone can push you off it 
Uh, the accompanied card that is to be the Ten of Pentacles, and there is no doubt right now that we are talking about your very, very happiness. Because the Ten of Pentacles points is that everything that you are to do throughout the week, following the example of the Queen of Swords, showing you that if you want something, you gotta take it, all right? Instead of hoping that someone is gonna chair, uh, is gonna uh, give it as a give it to you as a charity, then you will see that your life either slowly progressing or um, all of a sudden will start having even a, a bigger meaning. It's going to start becoming even more sensible than before. And with these couple of cards as well, it seems that a lot of problems that you are carrying on will no longer be in presence simply because those problems have been created from the exterior from the exterior people, for example, and now as you are presenting yourself strong as hell or strong as a rock, uh, these people will no longer going to bring those problems to you. So simply what happened with these problems, guys, is that they these were not your problems, but someone made them your problems. And that will be no longer the case once you stand for yourself. All right, so that was your weekly tarot reading, Pisces, a June 3rd to June 9th, 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys, and I hope that we're going to see each other around. Until then, bye.